think people hope that this tragic incident serves as an impetus for change. I want to show you what we saw when we got on scene tonight. It appears to be a small memorial growing for that 15 year old killed when police say the pol the school van she was traveling in was trying to make a left hand turn onto Richland from Third Street when a car driving north hit the van. This deadly news has already reached the governor's desk. Uh, it's just a horrific uh, accident and a horrific loss of life. And I say that not only as the governor, but as a father of four. I, I can't even imagine the grief that that family is experiencing right now. The morning commute to school Wednesday upended by this horrific crash. Vehicle accident, school bus on its side. My husband ran over, put the fire out, and I ran over to the kids. And took my sweatshirt off, started putting it on the kids, um, trying to help stop bleeding and keep them alert. I called 911. There are people still inside. The moments after the crash captured on a witness's cell phone, giving us a glimpse of the frantic response by those nearby. A car came up the hill and hit right into her. Amy Kovka was rattled after what she saw, but through her tears, she was able to articulate something we heard from others that this road is sorely lacking safety signals. Please, please do something with this road so nobody else gets killed. Several people have told us they've witnessed too many crashes in this spot on Richland Avenue. Nobody stops for vans. Jeannie Chedwick drives a school van in this area and has long felt that these vital vehicles are vulnerable. And I've said to a lot of my friends, it's gonna take a child to die like it did today to, to change. They need to put a light on vans. Action News Investigates has learned PennDOT has approved a traffic signal at the intersection of 5th and Richland, which sits two blocks from the crash site. That signal is set to be installed by the Turnpike Commission as part of the Mon Fayette Expressway Extension Project. I'm certainly going to explore with PennDOT what other steps could be taken. Um, through our administration, but uh, I presume any any uh, meaningful action in this area will require legislation. And so I'll be working with lawmakers of both parties from the House and Senate to determine what steps, if any, uh, should be taken here. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, only smaller school buses weighing 10,000 pounds or less must be equipped with seat belts in every seating spot. It defines a bus as a motor vehicle that has capacity of 11 or more people, including the driver. This definition can also include school vans. Now we're working to learn more about the specifics of this particular van. You can see the speed limit behind me shows 40 miles per hour. We've seen several cars far exceeding that tonight, including one that just passed me. People tell us that this intersection, this stretch of road has been dangerous for some time. As you heard from them there, they're employing the governor and the legislature to do something to make this area safer and save future lives. We're live in Dravosburg tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.